Alexa, trigger 62. Sending that to IFT. So today we're talking about webhooks. Something that might sound complicated, but I will assure you it's really not. It's a very simple concept. It's basically when something happens, maybe an event, give me a call and by call I mean send an HTTP request to this address which is specified by me so that I on my end can react to an incoming request. So the way I have been using webhooks is mainly together with the platform IFTTT. If you're unfamiliar with that platform it's a very simple way of saying that if this happens then do this and it also has support for webhooks and I've also used this platform called hooks.io which is um, a platform where you can you can specify a code snippet and that code snippet will run when hook.io receives a webhook on a specified address so now let's go through what actually happened in the background for me to receive this information as a push notification in my phone i have set up this system where i can tell my alexa to trigger an event that sends a webhook to hook.io and when hook.io receives this webhook this incoming request it will fetch some data about the bus traffic in my area it will take that data and send another webhook back to an IFTDT trigger which then can push this data as a push notification on my phone and then I can get the actual number of minutes until my bus arrives. Oh, it's so hot today. It's extremely hot here. I even have to record outside. I'm in this beautiful house by a lake, the second largest lake in Sweden, which is right there. It's actually vacation times here in Sweden now, so I'm in the middle of my vacation. My plan is to take a vacation from boring cold stuff and just do fun stuff. And this would definitely fall in that category. Here we can actually see my setup in, in IFTTT. Like here is an if this then that trigger. If I say Alexa trigger 62, then make a web request. And the web request is the webhook. I also have the same thing when I enter an area. Because when I enter certain areas in my town... I want to get certain information about about the connected buses and connected trams. And the last part, which is when the hook has gone from hook.io, got the data and wants to send the data back and push it as a notification on my phone. I have another listener for webhooks that says, if you get a webhook on this address, take the data from it and push it as a push notification on my phone. And now let's look at the code which is running in hook.io. And I named the function ifttt hook. So when hook.io receives a webhook on this specified address, it will do a get request to the site that has the information about the oncoming bus. If it does not get an error, meaning that it has the data that I want, it will make a post request to this IFTTT address and that will trigger IFTTT to send a push notification on my phone that includes the minutes to when the bus arrives and we will wrap it in some text. And that's basically it. For me as a concept it's super simple and very powerful and of course you can build whatever you want with it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.